love so welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing another new X Wednesday so previously on new X Wednesday we were working with this wax here it is from the Etsy shop crochetiers or something like that uh, so what I noticed uh, when using this wax is I'm not a fan of it I love this smell so it is it's going to give you uh, a light jasmine scent but um, once you scrape it off, scrape the top layer off as you're using it, uh, the scent gets stronger. So I had my coworker test it, and that is exactly what she said as well. So once again, for some background information regarding that, this was, let me pull up my purchases. Uh, I paid $10.27 for this, and... I believe that was almost completely shipping. So let's see. Yeah, this was $3.95 for this. And um, $6.32 for shipping, so $10.27. So uh, we are bring we are breaking out, breaking, breaking. We're bringing back the ones from Stark Nonsense, and we are going to move into our, let me pull it up, we are moving into, so let me just dump all these out so we remember what we had, oh I love this, it's so cute, so um, we are going to go ahead and start on the Evil Queen now, what is this again, is this a sample, yeah that was a sample, Way. Okay, so this chunk of wax was, uh, let's see, three dollars, and the shipping was. $7.93, but that was for everything. I'm not sure how much it would have cost by itself, but let's take out our instructions. Nope, that was the letter. Let's find the instructions. Okay, okay this is putty. This is wax. This is gel. Okay, so here are our instructions. By the way, this is a big positive for me. I like to see instructions because I will mess it up. If there's a way to mess it up, I will find it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the non-shiny side or non-pretty first. In other words, if it's a rose or a diamond shape, start on the bottom of it. Okay, so be this side. Um, if it's melted into a pot, you're ready to go. You can either press your pen down into the wax, poke it or preferred, or use a scraping method to get the wax in. Okay, so they're saying that, first of all, let me show you what it looks like. They're saying that the poke it method is preferred, so it's good. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, once it's in, wipe any excess around the tip, okay? Then use a dotting tool or a, on the larger side, or some tool with a bald end to push down gently into the wax in order to get a concave shape, or you can use your finger, but it won't work as well. After um, wipe the tip on your index or stock card, or even a piece of cardboard, see with wiper if included. Um, use about four to six drills that you don't care about from your extras if possible. Pick up a drill with your pen, press down hard on the wax, and push it out. Do this a second time, and then you're ready to diamond paint. When you're done with diamond painting, use the pointed edge O or dotting tool or dotting tweezers, dotting tool or tweezers to remove the wax and clean the tip well before moving on to the next wax. Okay, so I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to grab my uh, trash drills really quickly and change out my camera battery. So I will be right back with uh, those things. Okay, so I grabbed this. I'm going to grab my tweezers. That is tweezers for 
the concaving that I hope I'm doing. Hopefully I do it correctly. Okay, let us pull this wax out of the, of the um, pen from the previous wax. So yeah, I, I ended up deciding this wasn't my favorite wax. It's very reminiscent of the Bella's uh, diamond painting wax, which also wasn't my favorite, or Bella's exclusive mud. Which I did not really have a good time with. So it doesn't really say anything about um, uh, warming it up first. So, okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, it says to push it in. So I'm wondering, I'll, I'll push this side in first. I didn't get anything. Still didn't get anything. It's what it says, right? You can press your pen down into the wax, so like so, but I don't get anything. Okay, well, we're scraping now. Scraping. Let's try this side to press it in. Nope, all right. Let's scrape it. Okay, I'm going to clean off the excess, put it back on there. Now I will make the concave shape that they were talking about where you just kind of like dot it in like that so it's not overflowing. So there we go, that's concave now. Just scrape off the excess off the sides. Let's see if I can do that with, where is this one? Here we go. I'm gonna see if I can kind of do that with this a little bit. I think I did it too much. All right, let's go ahead and, oops. Oops. I'm really struggling. <laughs> okay. We'll try some. putting them down so that I can try that real quick. We'll grab that one and that one and we'll press it down firmly. And I pulled all the wax out. Okay, try again. Okay, I've done something wrong. Let me try putting a little bit more in there. what I'm doing wrong. So I'm putting it in and I'm kind of wiping off the excess like it says on the instructions and now I'm going to go ahead and press it in with the back end of the tweezers and maybe do one of these like quick once over that way. Pulling wax out again. What am I doing wrong? Did it need to be warmed up? Alright, well, you know what? We're just going to try it. I'm going to try and scrape a little bit to make it more concave with my fingernail like so. Okay. 
All right, let's try it. What is this? Oh, okay. All right, let's try it. What are we gonna work on? Oh, I'm gonna have to move us. Bear with me as I take us for a ride. Okay, so we're gonna be working down here. Let me try and clean up my workspace. So this is its bag. Move that, move that. All right, now we have a clear starting space and we will go ahead and start with, I think we're gonna go ahead and start with the diamond shape. And I'll take this one. I'm nearing the halfway point of this canvas. It's going. <laughs> it's certainly going. Let me fold this in half. So I only have half exposed. Oh, look, here's the halfway point right there. There is the halfway point. Wow. Look at us go. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, a little bit of residue, but a lot of good sounding. Okay, that one had a little bit more residue. Okay, that one had a lot more residue. It's not releasing some of my drills either. Oh, look, Anna's calling. You're on camera. Hello. What's up? Listen, I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little bit bored out here. Mom's been gone for like, Hour. You're on camera. Yeah, I'm out in public. I'm sure I am. Unless I gotta do anything. Listen, I'm No, bored. I'm filming my new Wax Wednesday right now. New Wax Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and now you've got Austin out here. Okay, Austin, you can go ahead and say hi too. Hello. Oh, that was a strange voice. Okay. Hello. Anna, would you like to say something? Hello. Listen. Listening. Mm -hmm. I have to go. Love you, bye. <laughs> okay, love you, bye. What's this? With a whole bunch That's of my trash drills. Can you go back to the room so I can finish filming? Hello. Okay, yeah, they heard you the first time. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> I got a dip, I think that's No. <laughs> Stop being like that. So, uh, sorry for that interruption. I'm sure that uh, most of us are, I mean, not maybe used to being interrupted, but a little used to being interrupted. So, I am going to actually stop real quick. Actually, Austin, can you bring me a baby wipe? Yeah. I am going to see, I'm going to do Where some, There's. there should be some, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna do some single placing while I wait for a baby wipe. And then I'm gonna have him go get me a new multi placer. Thank you. Can you get me a new multi placer? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Top drawer. Top drawer. The top one, baby. The Austin, is that the top drawer? Yeah, look at that. There you go. Top, that whole thing. Yep, bring it over here. Don't spill it on the floor. I want a, no, I want a four placer. Give, just give me the whole thing, please. May I please have the whole thing? May I have the whole thing? That's it, thank you. I don't need that one. Please put this one back. Why don't you, why don't you that one just 
Because I don't need it. It's quicker. Okay, but I don't need it. Okay. Thank you. So we're going to try it again because I was thinking that maybe part of the problem might have been, I don't know if you can see. Is it one kind of like two on? So, what? No, I don't know what you're saying, baby. This is kind of like rigid from multiple years, <laughs> multiple uh, uses of it. So I'm thinking that may be a problem. So we're gonna try a fresh multi-placer. See if that helps any. So we're scraping it into the pen. And I will grab my wiper thing back. Okay, and I'm just gonna kinda go like that once, just wipe anything off, and I'm gonna take my dull end of tweezers, oh, can you see? My dull ended tweezers and just kind of press it in and maybe scrape just a little bit so it has that concave shape that the instructions were talking about. I'm going to take that and put it back on the block and I'm going to go one more time like that. Okay, um, where's my crap drills? Here we go. Let's do some. Wipe off the excess again. Do some more. Wipe off the excess again, and now we'll try it. Hey, baby, I'm filming. What? I'm filming. Sorry, you know that was yes, it does. I can hear it. So that seemed to help a lot. So maybe this wax requires a new placer. Maybe that's part of the issue. So let's keep doing some multi-placing. Okay. So this is going a lot better now. Let's do some single placing. So as far as this canvas goes, um, if you've been keeping up with my Instagram, you know that I am not having the greatest time with this canvas. Um, it's going. That's all I can say at this time. I, I will do a full in-depth um, post review when the time comes. Um, I am officially caught up on post reviews now. Everyone clap for me. Yay! Um, before, <laughs> before I filmed four of them in a row at uh, four and five in the morning, <laughs> I was very, very behind. So um, that's going a lot better now that I caught up. Now, oops. Now I've got quite a few more. I felt I finished two more canvases since I finished um, filming those post reviews. But one of them is Crystal Skull, and one of them is a tiny little kitty one. So. I'm not sure if I will do a completed kind of review for each one that I, each one of the little ones that I did for Drills and Chills, or if I will just kind of like do a group one. I think, I think the Crystal Skull might get its own, and this one's definitely going to get its own. But as far as the other ones that I attempt for uh, Drills and Chills, like the Kitty one, and my Zombie Unicorn, and the babies I'm doing with all my friends. I'm thinking that might be a combined video. So, I'm liking this wax a lot better than the last few I've gone with. Like, a lot better. So, let me pull up my new Wax Wednesday thing and see how many I have struggled with. 
My phone is always dying, I swear. Okay, let's see. Videos, playlists. New Wax Wednesday. New Wax Wednesday. Okay, so we had the Metalheads DP. Two, three. Oh, wait, is this one current? This is Gillex. So then I have one more. So I've done 10 New Wax Wednesdays. So I was not a big fan of the Gillex, and I wasn't a big fan of the. Basically, it's all been downhill since. Oh, no, this isn't. This doesn't count because this was a teaser trailer. So I've done nine videos on New Wax Wednesdays. So, of all of these, my favorite was definitely DP Waxies, followed by the Sunflower, which was I don't know where. But the rest of them, I mean, I didn't, Metalheads DP and the, this is not a review of all the waxes I've done. I need to stay on topic. What I'm trying to say is that <laughs> the last couple waxes that I've done haven't been um, enjoyable for me and I think that the reason that they haven't been is because I think I found my perfect wax now I have not done um, not your mama's mud which I'm sure I'm going to like as well um, but all this to say DP waxy is my favorite wax but I have had to date so anything else that I try is kind of just like paling comparison basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, but that's not really fair because other waxes should kind of get their shot too. So I'm trying to remember that like at first I didn't like some of the waxes but then comparing it to other waxes I decided I liked them. Um, you know, in comparison. So I guess it is good to compare. I don't, I don't know. That's kind of why I'm doing this. What do you mean it's not good to compare? Duh. This is the reason I'm doing this. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, all this to say that this is the first wax in about four waxes that I've enjoyed. So I guess I'm. I guess it's going well. <laughs> Definitely having some problems with residue, but. These baby wipes, I swear to you, I need to get more of them because they are the perfect accoutrement to diamond painting. I got a couple things on my canvas recently that I needed to get off. This is a popping drill. Um, I've had a couple things on my canvas that I needed to get off and all I did was kind of like scrape it away or take as much off as I could and then just go over it with a baby wipe and it was good as new and that's kind of been working for the residue of the wax as well. So I'm having fun again with waxes. So. Um, but I'm not having fun with these popping grills. At all. I'm like really struggling to get them in there and it's like my rows are straight so I don't really understand what the problem is <laughs> well except for right there but I think these drills are really small because that's like all over the place but my drill my rows are still straight I don't know I'm, I'm just I'm having a problem with this canvas basically what is this though is that I see something on camera but I can't tell oh it's a shadow. Anyway, I think I am going to do a little bit more multi-placing before I give my current thoughts. My AC is like not even at full blast yet. It's working overtime. It's, at, it's set at 70, 74. But it's still like struggling because it's so hot right now. That's Florida for you. I'm really getting annoyed. Like, this is ridiculous. These popping drills are really, really starting to make me angry. Let me give them a little bit more room. I don't understand why that would matter because now it's going to invade the other side, but. 
whatever. Ugh, I'm just so annoyed. Okay. And it's like, they're all over. I don't understand what's happening. I just, you know, I think I won't be doing another square for a while. <laughs> That's all. I'm, I'm genuinely 100% annoyed with the squares that I've been doing lately. Um, my Dreamer Designs had popping drills, but not anywhere near as bad as this one. Um, my little kitty, of course, that was tiny, so I don't know if that was a factor, but my little kitty had no popping drills at all. And to be honest, I understand the concept of squares to get them to fit tightly together. Um, so I understand why they're popping. Well, I don't understand why they're popping at all. It's really frustrating me. But I would rather have gapping, I guess. All this to say, I would rather have gapping drills than popping drills. It's like, it's, it's taking my enjoyment out of doing this completely. There. I kind of made them invade into the next row, but I, I guess that's what they needed. Like, it's very frustrating, but, um, it is what it is. I'm enjoying this sound. We're going to stick to positives in this video. I am loving the sound that it's making, so that's good, because <laughs> everyone knows the sound that it makes is far more important than... Oh, I love that. Then the actual wax, right? Is that, is that how that works? I'm just trying to be positive. Okay, it's not going well. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I had a wild day uh, yesterday, but I think I will save that conversation for my whipping chat on Friday. So, okay, the single placer never seems to last long in any wax, so I'm not really concerned that it's not lasting so long. Even the pink wax, it doesn't really last all that long for me. But I was prompted to retry Patty Wax Super Sticky um, because. Brandy had sent me some. Brandy from Mama Vapes and Diamond Paints had sent me some. And I revisited it and I kind of like it a lot. It gives that same sound. And I think that this whole New Wax Wednesday journey has really taught me how to like use wax properly and not just like. See, the thing is, is that. I am a hard presser, a very, very hard presser, and I'm also like, I, I don't, I don't know how to say it. I, I guess, well, I mean, that's, I guess that's it. Just I'm a hard presser. That's, there's really no other explanation. Um, so, what I wanted was a wax that would work for me. I believe I found it. Um, that is my DP waxy. That is wax from France. Um, I will um, link that one, the uh, new wax Wednesday of that one, in um, the description box. Because I always forget to put it in the eye. So if I put it in the description box, I can do that now. So I will do that now. Well, after I finish filming this video. But I found a wax that I think works for me. Now I have to learn how to make other waxes work for me. And um, that's what I'm, that's really what this journey is kind of for me. And then of course, you know, the um, Wax Smackdown. That of course is also the other reason I'm doing this 
thing, but I'm enjoying this wax a lot, actually. It feels like, um, I don't know, it sounds like patty wax, super sticky. And I love that sound, and it smells phenomenal for fall. So I am excited to see how this will go. Whoa, did you hear that one? That was a good one. All right, I think I am gonna close it up for today. Close it up. I'm gonna close this video out for today so that I can edit and process and get this uploaded in time. Anyways, all right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right guys, I hope that you are being safe, washing your hands and taking care of yourselves. Bye guys.